everyone, hi peeps, it's Andrea and it's that time of the month again, yes, it is time for a book and a brew unboxing. This arrived yesterday, I wasn't here, so <laughs> I was out, so I'm in tonight and I'm going to open this up now and we're going to have a look to see what's inside it. So I apologise I haven't posted any videos this week, I have been very busy um, at work and also with the show I'm uh, teching at the Dolmen. So I haven't really had much time to film, but hopefully I'll be able to do some over the long weekend we're about to have. So here is the box. Usually it's packed as lovely as normal. So let's have a look. So what tea have we got this time? So this is Chamomile Flowers Tea by Oties. I have no idea what this is like, but I will be trying this fairly shortly and I'll let you know later. It won't be today. I'm not going to do it now like we did with the other one. And the book, well, the book isn't wrapped to this time. Normally it comes wrapped, but this time we have The First Stage of Grief is Revenge, The Woman, Woman of the Dead by Bern, Bernhard Eichner. And that looks like that. When Blum discovered that men had murdered her husband, she was distraught, but then she realised what she had to do. She had to track them down and kill them one by one. Okay. Let's read the blurb. Blum, Blum has a secret buried deep in her past. She thought she'd left the past behind, but then Mark, the man she loves, dies. His death looks like a hit and run. It isn't a hit and run. Mark has been killed by the men he was investigating and then suddenly Blum rediscovers she, what she's capable of. Kill Bill meets Dexter via the girl with the dragon tattoo. Woman of the Dead is a wild ride of a thriller where the first stage of grief is revenge and a reve a revenge is a dish best served bloody. Ooh, sounds quite good actually. So who is Bernhard Eichner? Okay, well, he was born in 1972 and lives in Innsbruck, Austria, where he works as an author and photographer. As research for Woman of the Dead, he worked as an undertaker's assistant for six months. Woman, Woman of the Dead was a bestseller in Germany, in Eichner's native Australia, with rights sold in 11 countries. Was it German peeps and Austrian peeps? Was it a bestseller? Let me know. I want to know, because this sounds like my kind of a book. Ooh, and you see this flower on the cover? Which is, it's just a plain black, but it's on the corners as well, look. Ooh, that's rather a nice looking book. So that is Chamomile Flowers Tea and Woman of the Dead. I think you need some chamomile after reading this or even during it because it sounds quite, well, quite spooky really, not, you know, not to... Uh, Oh yeah, doesn't no. Sounds really, really good. I'm gonna enjoy this one. I've got to be honest though, I do love the books that they send out, but I hardly ever read them because I've got a very, very big pile of two TBRs and I'm really falling behind with my reading at the moment. Um a month and a half ago I was for like 18 ahead on my Goodreads challenge. I'm now down to about eleven. And that's because I've been doing so much colouring and just relaxing. And of course, summer's come in, so I like to get out and do other things, and of course I'm teching this show. Um, so at the dolmen, so that's why I'm not reading as much. I am trying to also. I have just read um, George R. R. Martin, um, A Sword of Storms Part One because it was so big it had to be split into two for the paperback. So I've read part one, but I haven't read part two. So that was like 568 pages, or was it 661? It was a lot of pages, so that's why I'm a bit behind. So um, I hope to get to this soon, but I can't guarantee it. But it does sound like my cup of chamomile tea. So that's a book and a brew for this month. I will leave a link to their website down below if you're interested in checking out their wares. Um, don't forget to, you know, leave a comment if you've read this book. If you know who, who the author is, do let me know. I'd love to see what other people think of this book. Um, don't forget to share this with your friends, like it, and of course subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. I will probably be back on the weekend, um, if not before, with a flip through of another colouring book or a colouring video or some such other nonsense that you know I'm famous for. So yes, I am full of nonsense and I'll admit it. I'm a lot of flapdoodle. I will see you soon. Bye!